Uh, so what gives you hope? I always ask people that Pot. because <laughs> marijuana. marijuana. Gives me hope. Psychedelics give me hope. For real. Yeah. Not joking. It sounds ridiculous because people associate psychedelics with uh, with non-realistic things, with hallucinations. They, they 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 don't look at it the way I look at it. I think that there are certain plants here that have aided in the evolution of human consciousness. They have changed the way people look. They've changed the way I look at people. They've changed my relationship with human beings. My, the way I look at human beings has fundamentally changed by having psychedelic experiences. And changed for the better. Made me a healthier, nicer person. Made me more loving. Made me more aware of the consequences of my own personal actions. And I think it's a shame that they've been derided to the point where it's, it's a, a laughable topic you know if you say well, well you know yeah rogan also thinks that mushrooms can cure mankind well guess what they could if we all had really intense mushroom trips first of all people would come out of that with a complete reset come out with that you would be healthy but you would have a complete reset of the way you view eternity the way you view this situation that we're in we're so caught up in our own little culture and our own little situation that we have constructed and that we're fighting against and trying to control all these various aspects that we don't even we don't even think we don't take the time to think about the incredible majesty of just life itself and how amazing it is and how incredible it is that you have friends and loved ones and how incredible it is that you can have sex and that you could drink wine and you could eat steak and you could go to a movie and you can drive a car we live in a fucking fantasy world and i think that if people had some newfound appreciation, whether it's from near-death experiences, whether it's from uh, psychedelics, whether it's from meditation, whatever it is, I think people operate their lives primarily on momentum. They get up the same way they've always gotten up, they move in the same way they've moved, go through the same job every day, and that momentum is very, very difficult to break. And even if it's not a healthy momentum, whether it's you know beating off to your dick bleeds or gambling all your money away, we still get stuck in that momentum. They, I, gotta, I need a drink. You don't even know why you need a drink. You're stuck in some wacky momentum. You could call it being addicted to porn. You could call it being addicted to the internet. But we're stuck in a wacky momentum. And the only thing in my experience that changes that is a complete reconstruction of how you view the world. And the only way to do that is to step away. You have to have some sort of a, a disconnect some sort of a, uh, an experience where you get an objective look at things for the first time. You look at things as if you were someone completely unattached to every single aspect of your life and the lives of all the people around with you, but you get to see it like mapped out in front of you clearly and cleanly with no ego, with no financial repercussions, with no, just you get to really see what it is. And that's not fucking possible for most people without some form of psychedelic experience.